scorpion. Why, it's not a tomb at all. What on earth is it? Oh, that's hard to say. Why, these are lenses of a sort. They're probably a fused quartz of some kind. Well, if this is the dreaded secret of the Scorpion dynasty, it seems to be quite harmless now. Sunlight seems to have something to do with it. Why? These lenses are adjustable. Here, bring them all into focus. My name is... All is known to me. Your name is Billy Batson. You did not pry into the secret of the Scorpion. That is why I am here. But where did you come from? Out of the past, my son. Down through the ages to guard the secret of the Scorpion. You've been alive all these years? What you call life returned to me when your friends violated the tomb of the Scorpion. Well, they meant no harm. Then they should have obeyed the inscription on the tomb. The harm has been done. It is your duty to see that the curse of the scorpion is not visited upon innocent people. My duty? Yes. So long as the golden scorpion may fall into the hands of selfish men, it is the duty of Captain Marvel to protect the innocent from its evil use. But who is Captain Marvel? You are my son. All that is necessary is to repeat my name, Shazan. By its repetition, you will become Captain Marvel and take on the virtues you see recorded there. The wisdom of Solomon, the strength of Hercules, the stamina of Atlas, the power of Zeus, the great courage of Achilles, and the speed of Mercury. You must never call upon this power except in the service of right. To do so would bring the scorpion's curse upon your own head. And now, my son, repeat my name and return to the rescue of your friends. Shazam! Quick, 
Call the others. We've got to get Lang and Fisher up to camp. You bring the scorpion. Take care of the scroll, Bentley. It is set forth here that a certain arrangement of the lenses will transmute any substance placed in front of the base lens to pure gold. That's impossible. Sounds like rubbish to me. Well, we can soon find out. Show us how to arrange the lenses. Uh, Billy, bring me uh, several stones. Uh, uh, place them on the ground. Uh, step back, please. Why, it is gold. The purest I've ever seen. Only the sun's rays is needed to create it. If we only knew the formula for making those lenses. What difference does that make? We've got these. Gentlemen, do you realize that this golden scorpion makes us the richest and most powerful group in the world? Too rich and too powerful. Are you suggesting that we destroy the scorpion? Think of its scientific value. I am thinking of that. What do you propose? That the lenses be distributed among us. That another take the scorpion itself. And in that way, the device could never be used without the consent of all. But what about the scroll? The scorpion is useless without it. I suggest that Billy Batson be entrusted with the scroll. Oh, but he's so young, how? And this is of such vast importance. Nevertheless, Billy is probably the only one among us who can't translate it. Oh, but Mr. Howell, I would... I think Mr. Howell's plan is excellent. Dr. Charlie, will you disassemble the lenses, please? <clears throat> Professor Fisher, Mr. Carlyle, Professor Bentley, Dr. Lang, Mr. Malcolm. And Billy, this is for you to guard. See that you guard it well. It contains a precious and a dangerous secret. Don't worry, Talcha Tally. I'll guard it. Well said, young fellow. I'm sure you will. See that your personal belongings are packed tonight. We start to load at 4 o'clock in the morning and start for the base camp at daylight. <laughs> 